How does your family want to play, learn, and grow together? It's been about two weeks since we first asked that question, and we have loved talking to everybody, sharing ideas about a future recreation center and library. Uh, but we know you have more questions. We're trying to address a bunch of the most commonly asked questions in this video here today. But if you have anything that you didn't see addressed, please just leave it in the comments or send us a message on our website so that we can make sure to get all of your questions answered and get everybody just as excited about this project as we are. That's up to you. We've got a survey online right now and a series of public meetings scheduled to try and get as much feedback from residents as possible so we can really design the facility that you guys want to see. Right now, based on feedback from our parks master plan that was adopted last year, we're planning for fitness equipment, uh, cardio machines, indoor track, gymnasium, um, as well as some indoor aquatics elements uh, that could include a lap pool, a pool for lessons, a lazy river. All of those details are what we're trying to work out with the survey and the public meetings. Um, and the library will include uh, your standard library features, uh, all of your books and your story time spaces, study spaces, um, again, as well as whatever kind of additional enrichment and activity elements that everybody wants to see, which could mean a STEM lab or other cool classroom elements. Really, the possibilities are so broad. Uh, there's so many things to pick from, but we want to make sure that whatever we design is what Mansfield really wants to see. So if you have not already, please take the survey online uh, and attend a meeting. We've got our next meeting scheduled July 7th at 6.30 p.m. And we would love to see you all there so that we can get all of your thoughts reported and added to the official list that we are going off of um, that the steering committee can use to help decide what those amenities should be. The project is being guided by the steering committee which is made up of city leaders, like council members and members of our parks and library boards, as well as uh, staff members, some industry experts, and residents just like you. So that committee is taking all of the feedback and all of the data, and they're going to put it all together and make the best decisions for me as well. Right now, we are looking at a 12-acre space which is located in the shops at Broad behind Star Center. So uh, that's the location that we have penciled in. It is not finalized. Part of this process is going to be determining how the site will work um, if it is used as a recreation center and library and to make sure that that is the best choice. Um, but right now that's what we are looking at and working with. We are really excited about the location. It's centrally located, easy to find, easy to get to for pretty much everyone in Mansfield. And um, also one of the most exciting parts is that it is located on the Linear Trail. Um, the Walnut Creek Linear Trail right now has a trailhead at uh, McKnight Park East, the South Hall Park Shuttle 287. And we are working on an extension that uh, will take that trail further, um, about a mile further and hit the sidewalks at Cannon and Carlin. That extension is already in progress and it actually wraps around the uh, site that we are looking at for the recreation center. So the center would be located directly on the linear trail, which would mean you could actually run or ride your bike to the recreation center or library, which as much as everyone loves the trails, we think that's a really great added bonus. Um, so we are, we are very hopeful and excited, but again, none of that is confirmed or final. We do not have a final budget yet. That's going to be determined by what amenities everybody would like to see in the facility. And once we add all of that up and figure out how it all fits together, we'll be able to have a pretty good concept um, and know a pretty solid budget amount. There is no funding right now um, allotted to actually build the facility, um, but instead the plan is for this to go in an upcoming bond. A bond election would allow residents to actually vote on the project and decide whether or not it gets funded. There's not a bond scheduled at the moment, but City Council has been considering one for the future, which would most likely be in May or November of 2022. So 
the plan right now, this whole feasibility study that we're doing, is to make sure that we have a really solid plan and a good budget amount so that when it comes time to call the bond, we can present the project uh, fairly fully formed. You guys will have plenty of information about it and know exactly what it is that you're voting on. We're really excited about the bond election because it does give our residents a chance to have a say in what projects the city does. And again, we're pretty sure that everybody is going to be very excited about this facility, as excited as we are. So uh, we are very excited about letting it go to voters and letting you guys have a say and make this happen. If the Recreation Center and Library facility is approved, then the plan is to convert the existing Mansfield Activity Center and Mansfield Public Library, which are located within the City Hall complex, uh, to convert those two buildings into a dedicated senior and active adult space. So obviously the Recreation Center would be open to everyone, um, and so we would have programs for all ages, but this would give our seniors their own dedicated space They'd have their own gym, their own classroom space. We'd be able to add some fitness elements for them. But instead of having a few hours a day within the MAC, they would have a really nice large facility just to themselves, um, which we, we know is long overdue and would be very welcomed. Um, but again, that project really can't happen until we move the, everything else out. So we have to get the Recreation Center approved so that we can create that senior center. The short answer is yes. The MAC and the library both opened in 2001, when Mansfield's population was a little less than half of what it is today. So the city grew really fast, but our facilities have not grown at all. So both based on industry standards that tell us what kind of space we should have for our population, as well as feedback from residents. We know that our current facilities are just not providing the amenities and services that you guys would like to see and need to see, frankly. Um, but there is just simply no way to do them within the confines of the spaces that we have. There are certainly a lot of great projects that the city could do. And that's the great thing about a bond election is that it really allows residents to vote for the projects that they care about. Um, and so, this is just the first one that we're starting to work on because it was the top priority out of our 2020 master plan. So we know that this center is going to get a lot of needs and a lot of demands. And it's also a huge project. So it's going to take a long time to get all of our information together and really get some good concepts um, prepared so that everyone will really know what it is they're voting on and be able to make an informed decision. So we're starting with this but it is by no means the only project that will be presented, whether from Parks and Recreation or other city departments. We've heard this question a lot, and actually there's a lot of data that shows it's just the opposite. Most large cities have multiple city-owned uh, recreation centers, as well as multiple uh, corporate franchise private-owned uh, exercise places. It's not really a huge competition, primarily because they're serving a different audience. A recreation center tends to be more family focused and more casual fitness enthusiasts. Um, and if anything, a lot of times the private businesses end up performing better after the recreation center opens because someone who maybe never tried yoga takes one class at the rec center, finds they love it, and then seeks out a private yoga studio for a more advanced experience. So we're really pretty confident that it isn't going to be an issue. And especially with the location in the shops at Broad, it could be a huge uh, increase to the uh, neighboring businesses um, because it would be a lot of traffic coming in um, seven days a week for swimming and birthday parties and classes and fitness. And so all of those stores and restaurants in the area would really benefit from having the facility there. So um, we are absolutely conscious of the concerns and we'll be keeping an eye on it as we look at especially the different amenities and things that go into it. Um, but we are pretty sure we have a lot of a lot of good data and experts that tell us that it's not going to be.
you have thoughts and ideas about what you would like to see in this new center? Would you like a lazy river? Would you like a STEM lab? Maybe a sewing room or cooking classes? Indoor track? We know, you've got ideas, you've got opinions. We have heard them, but we need to get them captured in the official record. So, if you would like to have a say in what is going to be in this future facility, please take the online survey. The link will be in the text of this video, and you can also find it on our website, newsbuildparts.com. Please take the survey, share it with your friends and neighbors, make sure that everything that you care about is included because we need all of that feedback. And that's all the information that our committee is going to be looking at and using to make all those hard decisions. We also have a public meeting coming up on July 7th. It's a Wednesday evening at 6.30 p.m. We'll have more information coming about that soon. Thank you so much for watching. We hope we addressed your concerns, but absolutely, if you still have questions, we would love to know about it. Uh, you can go to our website, mansfieldparks.com, uh, and when you scroll down just a little bit, there's a big sticker that says play, learn, and grow together. And that is where you can find the project webpage for this recreation center and library. That page has videos from past meetings. It will have videos from the future meetings, the presentations that were shared, a list of frequently asked questions, just like the ones that we covered, and any other information as it becomes available related to the project will all be shared there. You can also sign up on that page for email alerts. So um, if you want to get notified every time there's something new, sign up right there. And you can also send a message to staff. So if you have a question that you didn't see answered here, uh, just send us a message and let us know. You can also leave it in the comments of this video and we will get back to you. Again, take the survey, please, uh, so that we can uh, make sure we get all of your feedback captured. But if you have other things you'd like to know, we would love to answer them. Just let us know and we will be happy to help.